it's the kind kitten here. Hello! And I'm on Enchanted, uh, the map that I actually, well, the map that used to be known as TNT Wizard C, made by Team Divide ages ago and recently modified by me and uh, my friend and Nico helped quite a bit with the interiors. So if you saw the previous video, you can see all of these are open now on both spawns, meaning that it's a lot harder to potentially spawn camp. Um, there's objects in the way of the center, meaning that you can't just uh, be with or fire cast um, in TNT Wizards and shoot straight at the point, because this will at least absorb a couple of shots. There's no more void in the middle. There's this, well I say river, um, but it's just like stained glass and there's no more void hole down here. Um, there's these little bridges, so it's a lot more forgiving for new players. Um, although if people fall down here, there is a, a tiny bit of protection. They go under these ledges. So if people are firing from above, they could uh, prevent it that way. But mainly in this video, I'm going to show you that all the interiors are now finished. And as I said, like, I, uh, my friend Cheesy did some ages ago. I did some ages ago, but recently me and uh, uh, my friend Nico finished them. And I'm going to quickly run through them. So this was one I did ages ago. Um, I was trying to emulate the style of Cheesy's original one, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, and then my friend and Nico um, went through it after I did it and then tweaked it a little bit. Um, here is the one Cheesy did ages ago that I was trying to emulate. You see like uh, this, uh, this floor, this looking occasion. I didn't do a fireplace, but it's the kind of new Hypixel style. And Cheesy always used to like to do these sort of ceilings fantasy style and his design the these seasons especially but you can see that's sort of his look and that's what I was trying to emulate just so all the buildings had some sort of consistent interiors we still I still want to keep it as fantasy but I liked the one cheesy had done so that's why that's what I went with basically I'm also sorry my voice sounds a bit sore it's um, I'm a little bit unwell. So this is the kitchen in here. Pretty simple. Um, and this is similar to another house, although we just copy pasted and changed a few things, um, which you'll see in a minute. So this is the design I did here. Nico added that curved ceiling in, which I really like. Um, and here's this room. A little bit here. And if I fly around, because there are quite a few houses, so I'm going to have to skim through them very quickly. Is the one over here? Did I do that one? Oh, I think this is the that basically that house over there is. I think is the same as this one. It's, Oh yeah, it is. So the only difference in this one is the carpets of that colour and there's books there. So as you can see there's a, there's a carpet change, but apart from that, this one's the same. And then this one as well. Oh, no, this is another repeat of the previous one. That's the one Cheesy did. And then I sort of did uh, with, like, a couple of them. Like, I did all of this, and then my friend Nico uh, just sort of did tweaks after, like, he added uh, this table was changed. Uh, he added this, and I wondered what the heck that was at first, and he said it's sort of like a, um, a, uh, like a, a window where you can serve the food, and I thought that was pretty cool. Um, he changed he changed the ceiling up here. In my one originally it was flat, and then I forgot that this didn't have an attic, so I could potentially have just done that, and I didn't think of doing it. So I came back and was very impressed. The other reason why it's great to build with is you just he just comes back and makes things better. 
and also he'd not really done cheesy styles before i just sort of said that's the style we're going with emulate it please and he did so this house was basically done before um i added uh, some tables in that because there was uh, the only thing on it ready before was this uh this table um cheesy did this room and this room and then i basically as i said used that style uh, mimicked it and this is what i came up with for the top one it's a little bit different because these windows were three higher which is why that has an extra layer basically and we've got it here as well some storage space didn't really know what to make the room, so that's what I ended up making it. I wish I could have spent more time in each of these houses, but there's quite a lot of them to get through. So that was that one. And this, this little one over here, with basically no interior space. So Nico just did this, which I think looks pretty cool. And he's like use like those ceilings but made it uh, wood as cheesy does in some of his ones and then forget is that the same house nope I made the interior of these towers uh, I think I showed the interior of those towers in my original video and these towers are effectively those towers but with a different roof but then I thought it's boring if they have the like entire same interior so I I did copy elements of it like these tables but um, when you get to the top you'll see there's a little bookcase area there some plants but when I got to this bit here I went completely different got a nice purple bed uh, enchanting area and you can see all the magic particles or imagine the magic particles uh, some hidden lighting up here as I said uh, there probably wasn't a point of doing an interior for all of these anyway, because most of them would get destroyed. But just in case, uh, I don't know, people don't destroy things if that ever got accepted, then at least, you know, they could explore a little bit. So I think that's all of those. There's a house here that was the one I believe Melee made before, which had the cool interior, but it was really inconsistent with the other ones. And uh, I didn't know if I was even going to keep it that high. And so I'm, uh, my friend, uh, well, Nico basically said, oh, uh, yeah, I do actually think it's good to keep it that high, but I'll maybe redo the staircase. I added this pillar because this wall was a bit empty um, uh, and added that shelf. And this was what the top looked like before. And Nico just uh, added more support pillars, which I think looked pretty cool. That Again, this doesn't look anything like the other houses, but I like it. And then I did this one over... There's no need to go in both of these because they are the same house. But I did this one, which basically had no interior space. So I put a little table there, some furnaces, some furni there. Put a bed there. And basically put some bookcases and that around. You've got a little enchant... Well, it's not an enchanting area. You actually have a little table. So I use the anvil as a table. And, uh... Yep, that's basically everything. But I'll show you the spawn tower again in here in case you forgot it. I didn't do this, by the way. This was, uh, possibly Big Rat or Cheesy from Team Divides ages ago. Um... So this looks pretty cool, but these uh, these spawn towers are quite spacious as well. So there's a storage room, and uh, probably have it so you can't... I don't know if they can open trap doors, but whether they can or not, it doesn't matter. Because um, it doesn't really matter if they can get into there. So that was just all the interiors. Uh, ideally, I was trying to hold off on doing this episode because I wanted my friend... And Nico to be in another video, but th th uh, things came up. <laughs> so unfortunately, he, I wasn't able to do a video with him. But hopefully, I really, because I really want to do another video with him in the future. And if he's free, maybe maybe we can do one soon. 
and uh, everyone will hear this lovely, I, I don't know, infectious giggling again, which is the complete opposite of my uh, usual monotone commentary. So this was uh, The Kind Kitten, and I hope you enjoyed seeing a bit more of the Enchanted map. I have actually submitted it, um, so hopefully it will get accepted. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye!